Hey everybody, welcome back. It's August, although looking outside at the weather you wouldn't believe it, and it's time to get the drone up over the A14 again. This month something a little different. Normally when I fly the drone over the A14, I use the camera that's built into the drone. The drone has this little 4K stabilized camera on the front there. And this means that as the drone flies along, I can control where this camera looks. So you get to see what I want you to see. However, this month, something different. This time, I also flew the drone with this 360 degree camera attached to the bottom. Now, this means that there are two versions of each video. There's the normal version where I fly the drone and you get to see exactly what I was seeing as I was flying over the site. But there's also a 360 degree version. Now the 360 degree version allows you to look at whatever you want. You can look down as I'm flying forward or you can look sideways. You can look at whatever you want. You think of it as a 360 degree sphere around the drone. So you can look in any direction that you like. Now to do this, you'll need to be using the Google Chrome browser on your computer or the YouTube app on your mobile device. And if you do that, you'll be able to drag the video around. Now you can either use that with your mouse or your finger, but you can move the video in the direction that you want to, to look as I'm flying. Some people don't like 3D videos. Um, they are a little bit lower resolution than you would get from the 4K camera on the drone. And that's really because there is one 4K picture of which you're looking at a small window at any time. So it's a little bit lower resolution, but still gives a, a pretty good quality image. Also, it's a little shaky. So the camera on the drone is stabilized. It means that as the drone is vibrating in the air, the, the computer is keeping the camera stable. Unfortunately, the camera that's mounted on the bottom, the 360 camera, isn't stabilized. So you will see a little bit of vibration, but hopefully it's not too off-putting. Give it a go. Try both. See which one you like. If you like the 360 version, then leave me a comment below. If you don't like the 360 version, leave me a comment and tell me why. Um, for the next couple of months, I'm going to be trying out this 360 camera. If everyone tells me they think it's a waste of time and they don't like it, then we'll obviously we'll stop doing it. But the plan is to, for the next, certainly for the next sort of two or three months, is to fly the 360 camera and the normal camera and produce the two versions. One last thing to say about the 360 version. In the standard version, I normally speed up some of the sequences, and that's because, especially if the drone's flying into the wind, it can be quite slow. So certainly when we're flying up and down large stretches of the A14, I tend to speed the, the video up maybe two to four X. With the 360 versions, I haven't done that. And the reason I haven't done that is I want to give you time to look around. So it will seem a bit slow. The videos are sort of six, six or seven minutes long, but it gives you that time to look at what you want to look. You can obviously, you can rewind and look at different, different things at different points. It's totally up to you. I hope you enjoy them. Please let me know in the comments on the video. If you're enjoying them, then don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next month. Hopefully the weather will be a little better next month. Thanks very much. See you soon. Bye-bye.